Oh, that's for me. It's a little bit more, you know, maybe scholastic or semantics because some people dis- differentiate. They say there is a conscious, there's a subconscious, there's the unconscious. I don't know that I can really find such a difference working with people's deeper part of their consciousness. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the subconscious has different levels. Maybe it's operating sometimes on such deep level that you're li- really not conscious of it. So we can call it unconscious. Ah. Sometimes we are noticing those little thoughts bubbling up that we are not seeming to choose you know, the inner critic, the saboteur, that little scared voice that says, no, don't do that. That's certainly not something that comes from the intellectual mind because we are not thinking those thoughts because they're not serving us, they're holding us back. So where do they bubble from? That's from the subconscious mind. So in general, it is a part of our consciousness, a huge part of our consciousness. which 90%. Right? Exactly, exactly. And it takes probably also care of 90% of our daily lives because most of what we are doing is automatic, is driven by, you know, even when we are walking, by some control that goes beyond our little intellectual capacity. I mean, we would not be able to lift a cup of coffee having to control it with our intellect because there's so much going on there's so much fine-tuning there's so many different muscles relaxing and contracting at the same time it's impossible so who does that and that automatism is a part of the job of the subconscious mind so are the emotions so are the memories keeping the memories our core beliefs are stored in the subconscious mind And then, of course, those patterns that we do every day, driving a car, washing our hair, shaving, all those things that we are already in the office or thinking about the weekend. And someone is not making us create an accident or spill something or, you know, cut our face. Who is that? That's what the subconscious mind does. It's a very, very powerful and important part of our consciousness. But the problem we have is... Mm -hmm that we are not really knowing how to deal with it. We are basically letting it just operate on its own. There is no guidance. There is no you know, connection, no collaboration. And so there is often a friction between what we intellectually think we should be doing and what we want and what on the subconscious level actually the agenda seems to be. And that friction often causes fear and anxiety.